the play fake back launching downfield to McConkey who comes back and grabs it. McConkey jitterbugs down to the two yard line. Here comes pressure. He just got it off. McConkey another catch. Once more goes to the end zone. McConkey with another touchdown catch. I'm Alex Johnson. This is Yards for Fantasy, and today we're talking Georgia wide receiver Lad McConkey. We're going to dive into his background and college career, discuss the positives and negatives in his prospect profile, try to determine his dynasty value, and if and where you should target him in your rookie drafts. Lad McConkey, he's a wide receiver out of Georgia. He's a redshirt junior. He's 22 years old. He's listed at 5'11", 187 pounds. Lad McConkey, whose given name is Andrew Lad McConkey, began his football journey at North Murray High School in Chatsworth, Georgia. He was a multi-sport athlete starting in basketball and football as well as track and field. In football, he was a do-it-all player. He took snaps at quarterback, running back, wide receiver, and defensive back. He was also the team's punter and kick returner. As a senior, Lad McConkey totaled over 3,000 all-purpose yards. He scored 36 touchdowns, 20 passing, 10 rushing, three pick sixes on defense, and he had another as a returner. And that was enough to earn a three-star grade as part of the 2020 recruiting class. McConkie redshirted his true freshman season at Georgia before starting seven of 15 games in 2021. He finished second on the team with 31 receptions for 447 yards and five touchdowns. And then he stepped up his game in 2022, catching 58 balls for 762 yards and seven touchdowns. And he also carried the ball seven times, for 134 yards and another two scores. McConkey returned for his redshirt junior season before missing the first month of 2023 with a back injury. He also dealt with an ankle injury later in the season. But in his nine healthy games, Lad McConkey caught 30 passes for 478 yards and two touchdowns. Let's talk about the positives, the things that we like in Lad McConkey's profile. The first is his speed. He's also got good acceleration, so he reaches his top speed very quickly. He's got excellent lateral agility. He's a good route runner, probably one of the better polished route runners in the class. He's excellent after the catch. He's good off the line of scrimmage, got a good release. And then he had four career rushing touchdowns. Those came on 13 attempts and resulted in 216 yards. And he had 22 career kick and punt returns. If you've watched any of my videos in the past, you know that I love these wide receivers who get opportunities outside of catching passes. Whether it be rush attempts or kick returns, Lad McConkey's got them both. It just tells me that the coaches have identified this guy as one of the best playmakers, one of the best athletes on the team, and they want to get him the football in as many ways as possible. It's a great indicator of pure talent. And that's what we're searching for, right? On the negative side, Lad McConkey has a little bit of a thin frame, that's probably part of why he struggles versus press coverage and he struggles versus physical defenders. He's also not reliable in contested catch situations. Lad McConkey had underwhelming college production. He averages 3.9 receptions per game in his best season, which was 2022. He also never reached a 20% dominator rating, which means he doesn't have a breakout age. And this is red flag, red flag, red flag for me on the Lad McConkey profile. First of all, dominator rating measures how much of the passing offense a wide receiver accounted for. And to never reach 20% is really bad. The baseline of good that I look for is 30%. So he didn't even come close to that. And that's just the baseline. In fact, in the nine games that he played in 2023, taking out the injured games, his dominator rating was only 13.5%. That is pathetically bad. That is bad. Dominator rating, breakout age, these are two of the biggest indicators of future NFL and fantasy football production. Lad McConkie doesn't just miss these boxes. He's not even close. I also look at best season receiving touchdown share and best season yards per team pass attempt, both of which are big whiffs from Lad McConkey as well. It was just 22.5% on the touchdown share. I'm looking for something in the 30s, at least for an elite prospect. In his 1.55 yards per team pass attempt in 2022, that's about half of what I'm looking for. To put it into perspective, Malik Neighbors had a 3.86 best season yards per team pass attempt. Now, of course, that is truly, truly elite. 
That is more than two yards more than Lad McConkey. Before we get into my NFL comp and my draft projection for Lad McConkey, I just want to make sure that you're aware that if you want to get your hands on some Lad McConkey shares, you don't have to wait until your rookie drafts. Underdog Fantasy makes it possible to draft these rookies today. So go draft some Lad McConkey if you like him. Go draft Marvin Harrison Jr. or Brock Bowers. And when you sign up for Underdog Fantasy, make sure you use promo code YARDSPER to get a $100 instant deposit match on your first deposit. I'm already drafting teams for 2024, so I will probably see you in a draft room. The archetype for Lad McConkey, he is a possession wide receiver. My NFL comp for him is Elijah Moore. Elijah Moore flashed as a rookie, he hasn't done a lot since. But he's one of these dynamic guys who can play both inside and outside. He's got some athleticism, quality route runner. I really like this comp for Lad McConkey. Let me know what you think. Drop it in the comments. Do you like the Elijah Moore comp or do you have somebody better you'd like to share? And while you're down there, make sure you hit that like button and subscribe. In my draft projection for Lad McConkey, I expect him to come off the board in the second round. All indicators are NFL teams like him a lot more than I do. The bottom line is Lad McConkey had an underwhelming college career from a production standpoint. You could say that the Georgia offense was run focused, but that still doesn't explain away the poor team share metrics. But still, when you watch Lad McConkey, it's hard to not think he has a chance to be a contributor in the NFL. He is one of the more complete route runners in the 2024 class. He uses his combination of speed, acceleration, quickness, and agility to create easy separation. He's a reliable underneath option who can quickly turn up field and gain chunks of yards after the catch. He also possesses the speed to win vertically. Lad McConkey is a smart player who quickly identifies coverages and finds the open holes on the defense to create a target for his quarterback. He does tend to struggle in more physical situations though. With an undersized frame, Lad McConkey has a hard time dealing with press coverage and physical defenders. He's also not going to win a lot of balls in contested situations. At the NFL level, Lad McConkey projects as a complimentary wide receiver who's going to line up in the slot and out at Z. He's going to work himself into space and be a reliable target for his quarterback and eat up yards after the catch. Lad McConkey is likely going to come off the board in the second round of the NFL draft. And in Dynasty, his athleticism and his toughness is going to make him a tempting pick in the early second round of our rookie drafts. But his prospect profile indicates that the back half of the second or even the third is more appropriate.